Hello, dear friends. Chris here. I hope everybody's doing well today. So I have an unboxing for you today from Distracted by Diamonds. Um, but before I get to that, first I want to say to any new viewers, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy it here. Uh, and if you do, please do those YouTubey things. Like, like, subscribe, share, comment. It would be greatly appreciated. And to my returning friends and true blues out there, thank you so much for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means everything to me. Uh, and before I get to this, just as a reminder, anything you might need will be in the description box below as far as the links, social links, discount codes, all that kind of stuff. Um, the links to the store, <laughs> just check in the description box. Okay, so what did I get? So I got this um, around the Black Friday um, of 2022 uh, time. Uh, now, Distracted by Diamonds is one of my favorite, favorite diamond companies. I love, love, love their stuff. Um, I love the designs they have. Um, I have quite a number of their canvases. Um, and they're just fa fabulous. So I would definitely recommend them. Check them out. Um, they are... Uh, well, let me just say this. Oh, they're on Etsy, of course. Um, so I don't buy from them as much as I would like or get all the canvas I want only because you know the price of the canvas plus shipping and tax it gets up there so I was lucky enough to snag this at a discount so that's a, a great thing about Distracted by Diamonds is that really for quite some time since they've had more of their kits up um in the old times they used to like do these like kind of drops where at a certain time they would just put some stuff up and then you'd have to run over real quick to try to get what you wanted. Or if there's something you wanted, you have to get it real quick. Um, and then it was gone <laughs> until the next day. Um, but now they have stuff up there all the time. Um, the paddy wax and the drills and the dime paintings. Um, they don't have, of course, everything all at once. But uh, so it's kind of the thing you still have to check on daily if you're looking for something. Um, and the great thing is that they now offer... a quite often uh, discounts on certain items. Um, so sometimes something will be uh, discounted, some then it'll go up to the regular price after a while, then discounted again, etc. So um, I've been looking, because there's a kit I want, that uh, I think is probably by the same artist. It was a kit called Yellow uh, Frida, I think. Um, and I've been like waiting for the discount on it. I, I think it has been discounted before. I think I've seen it at like 40% off or 35 maybe. Um, I'm not too sure. I don't remember, but I need a deep discount, quite frankly. <laughs> and their discounts do go from probably about 20 or 25% off to about 60. Right now, I believe the last time I looked, some of their kits were actually 60% off. So you get a kit that was originally like in the 50 or $60 range for like 22, of course, then you had to add on shipping, but that's really worth it. So that's what this was. This was a 50% off on this kit. Um, and I liked it a lot. It's something that I would only buy if it's discounted. I'm just like that. I, I have to, I, I have to count the pennies, and because the pennies are not there. So you know, when I buy something, I really, really, really have to love it, and it has to be affordable for me. Um, so this I was able to do because deep fifty percent off. You can't get much better than that. Um, so. I'll show you what it is in a minute. If, of course, you've probably already seen in the thumbnail, but that's okay. Um, so they, what they send you... Oh, by the way, I already unboxed this and I had actually shot the video. But lately, I don't know, I've just been really off my game and not happy with how things have turned out. So I scrapped it and that's why we're doing it this way. Um, so it comes in the box. Oh, I do have the box still here. So this is their box. It's a really pretty purple box with the hieroglyphics on it. This is their logo up here. Um, and this actually, I might as well show you right now, is the kit. It is called The Inquisitor by Caroline Smith, 2022. It's around 62 by 62 centimeters. And then they have the instruction kind of stuff on the back. So that's the box. And what comes in the kit, oops, sorry about the earthquake there. Um, so you, they send you a pen, a regular pen. Then they also send you this. So this is their other part of the toolkit. You get a, this is the, di the diamond tray they give you. That's a heart. Um, and if you can see, there's a diamond um, etched in there. And you open it up 
and you have a thing of wax, the purple, or excuse me, the uh, good pink wax in the heart shape, and they actually have their own branded Distracted by Diamonds washi tape. Oops. I love these little things. I use them for, for storage. I use them sometimes if I'm doing a small project. Um, you know, tons of different things I use these for because they're they're small and they're um, that they're good that way. You know, multiple uses. I could couldn't use this to actually diamond paint on this kit unless it was like a small amount of color. But these are really cute. Okay, so here are our drills. Again, it's a round one. Uh, they have the info on here. Should you, which I do, store it separately. Very pretty colors, lots of um, oranges and beiges and then purples, pinks, and now lots of different kind of, you know, red tones and stuff. There are two ABs in this one. Now, didn't want to talk over that. Now, Distracted by Items, not all of their kits have ABs, but some do. This one has two, and this one has a red AB. Just not gonna wanna hold up that way. And that's the 666 AB. And they have two bags of the black. Now these are really, really pretty black ones too. The, uh, these are really good AB blacks. They're very much that um, blue, greenish, purplish tones to them. So they are very pretty. And Black AB is a hate it or, or love it kind of thing, or sometimes in the middle. I don't know. They're, it's a controversial AB. It depends what it's for, but I think it'll work on this one. And so they also send you the this big old sticker sheet. Oh, by the way, you also get a sheet about this size of a release paper. Um, I don't have it over here right now, but that's always good. I use some of them to cut strips out of. Um, so this kit has 50 colors, um, including the two ABs. And over here, it tells you about the company. And it tells you here, uh, again, you see the picture. And these are peelable stickers. Um, two, three of them actually came off through, through shipping or packing. I don't actually see where the other one is. I haven't found it anywhere, but that's all right. Um, I, could always, I could always mark it on my containers anyways, um, but I was able to save those two. Okay, um, just put this here. So, Let's see what it is. Okay. Let's see if I could focus you more down on it. Let's get that out of the way. So here she is. Again, it's a 62 by 62, so it's a perfectly square one. Um, on the top, it's distracted by diamonds, the, the logo, and their name. Of course, both sides have the Legends of the Fall. And on the bottom, we have the name of the kit, the Inquisitor, Caroline Smith, the year. And over here, there's something, it says the decoratedwoman.etsy.com. I have no idea what that is. Um, I guess you could check it out if you want. <laughs> um, now, I did this paper. The sheet is um, thin and how they cut this they they it's like they laid it down um however they made the the diamond painting uh then they put the cover sheet over this clear sheet and then they cut it with it on top the sheet on top so the it's rippled and it has the poked throughs on here um so that's interesting. Um, now, when I was trying to check the stickiness, uh, this paper is really thin on this one. I don't know if it's this and on the other ones. I don't remember. I don't know how old this kit is because it's been out quite some time. I don't know if it's like sitting around in storage or not. Um, I don't know. Uh, but it did rip. It's not a big deal. I. It is what it is. It happens. It has nothing to do with the company's quality, really, I don't think. Um, and so here she is. Again, we have, so we have her with the side profile. We have this red cat up here and this really pretty background and these yellowish colors with these um, branch colors. 
I, I don't know exactly. I'm not going to spend time looking to say what each color exactly is, but this is going to look really cool. I, this is really a great style. It's different. It's unique. Um, it, it's really something that speaks to me and my own personal uh, kind of style and what I like. Um, now, I know the ABs, the red ones, um, will go in scattered kind of around in the red areas on her outfit. Um, I don't think I've seen any in the cat, but I did see them scattered throughout her uh, pattern on her outfit. And the black ABs will be the uh, her top color. Like all of these over here, that's why you got two of those bags, will be the AB color. Her hair is not that color and neither is the cat that is a regular 310 uh which i'm glad <laughs> um so really the sparkle that extra sparkle will all come from her outfit um i'll just move this way real quick just so i can see it um the the symbols are okay there are some i think i yeah i talked about this in the other video that i didn't save um some are the because of the symbols they chose are a little what I would call um lack of a better word cloudy um like a lot of them you can see fine like C's and T's and Z's and these these like water drops and you know the M's and all this other stuff you know arrow or the triangle downs the 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 dot with the, the the loop, whatever you want to call it, those are all perfectly visible. Um, there are a couple like the AB color in the red that's like an asterisk that is a little cloudy. Now, I don't have a problem. I can see it clearly. I can make it out, but it's a little bit more cloudy than you'd like. So the symbols aren't perfect. Uh, they could be improved a little bit, but as I said, this is an old kit or old release. So they might have Again, I haven't opened a new one in a while since the summer, so I don't remember exactly um, the symbols on that. So they might have improved, um, but again, it's not a bad thing, and it's not bad quality. It's just not perfect. <laughs> um, I will bring you up close to look at it. This is a more of a, um, a canvasy type thing. I you could hear that. It's, so it's not a soft back. So I think you've got a general idea of what it looks like. So again, there we have it. The Inquisitor from Distracted by Diamonds. Love, love, love it. Um, again, 50% off. It was great. Um, unfortunately, like I said, I did have to pay the, like something $13 for shipping plus an extra couple of dollars, $3, I think, for tax. So that kind of really sucked. Honestly, it did. But, you know, in the end, what can you do? If you like something and I would have had to pay the regular price plus that if I had not gotten the disco. Yeah, so whatever. I'm glad I got it. It's really a cool piece. And um, when you got sales you got to jump on them right guys okay well i hope you enjoyed the unboxing today um tell me everything that you think have you got distracted by diamonds what do you think of them do you like this kit how do you think it'll show up all that kind of stuff let me ever know all the things in the description box below all right thanks so much for watching i truly appreciate it and until next time please everybody be safe be happy and stay safe stay happy bye guys